we, we stay humble and hungry. That's kind of our, our motto, especially on defense. You know, we stay humble, we stay hungry, and that's kind of how we get after guys. We're going to outwork every team week in and week out, you know. Going to do every single thing in our power it's on Tuesday to have the best Tuesday practice. On Wednesday, have the best Wednesday practice until that, you know, the Saturday comes easy and the game comes easy, you know. So uh, that's kind of our mindset and how we approach things. I think, you know, having the offense that we had last year, you know, compared to years past, I, I think helps a lot because we know as a defense, if we make this stop, our offense is going to go down and score. You know, we know it. Having that confidence in your offense and knowing that, you know, the ball is going to be in Trace's hand, the ball is going to be in Saquon's hand, they're going to make something happen, definitely helps to, you know, get that stop on defense. You know, I, I would say, you know, Sharif Miller's definitely going to break out, you know, this year. Obviously, we have two DNs that, that left and two guys are going to have to step up in Torrance Brown and Sharif. So I think both of them are going to have good years. I think Curtis Cawthorn, you know, he, he's, he's a man. If you look at him, he, he more than passes the eye test. Uh, I think he's really going to come into his own this year and make a big impact. I mean, you, you see a lot of players, obviously, who go out and they want to make plays and they want to do better themselves. But, I mean, Saquon's the type of guy where he'll go in and he'll watch the defensive side of the films. And, you know, he'll come up to me and say, hey, Jason, you know, you did this on this play, you know, uh, on me. And I feel like, you know, if you did this, you know, you, you would have been better. You would have been in a better position to make this play and stuff like that. And when he can point stuff out like that and, and get other players better, even on the defensive side of the ball, I think that's, that's really important. That's kind of what a leader does. My role on the team is to uh, get everybody better as the best way I can. And that's either on and off the field um, and keep the energy going. Uh, you know, in the room and and on the field as well. Because sometimes when a team may lack, uh, the team may lack energy, and you you have that energy uh, bunny, energized bunny, bouncing around, yelling, yelling, getting people hyped. That, that that rubs off on people and that's contagious. Uh, as far as helping others get better, I've been helping like the younger kids uh, get the younger guys getting like adjusted to college football. You know, telling them the do's and don'ts uh, and what to expect when camp rolls around, you know. You know, camps are like next week, so guys are definitely going to want to know, yo, what should I what should I do, what should I do this. And getting them ready as far as like the plays, you know. Uh, it's just little things that you got to understand and um, help them with. I would say Tariq definitely impressed me. Uh, you know, Lamont Wade, he's been here for a minute, and I would say he's definitely impressed me as well. Uh, on the offense side, uh, Mac, Mac, he, he's, he's really good. His route, route running is good. Uh, but other than that, got the, the freshman class in general have definitely showed glimpses and highlights of uh, things that made might, might just blow up, you know. These guys are really good and very talented, and I can't wait to watch them. It's going to be so exciting for camp because we're all going to be competing, either myself included. Like people tell you, the other side of me, but I'm competing as well because these guys behind me there are just as nice. But you guys haven't just seen them, so it's not one day that I go into practice like I, I ain't about to be working. Nah, I'm working because some that guy behind me is definitely chasing on my tail to take my spot. So a guy, like Coach Franklin says, he's, he recruits guys to take your spot, to, to keep the competition going, you know? So that's why I believe that uh, I come in practice, ready to uh, practice every day. When I first got to Penn State, uh, you know, first practice we went out there and Coach Donovan at the time was a tight end coach and you know, first thing he said, all right guys, we're going to do stance and start and you know, get down your three-point stance and I looked around and I was like, is anybody going to teach me how to do this? You know, I didn't, I didn't know anything personally about, you know, how to play tight end and, you know, the stance and, you know, everything that had to do with being a tight end. Um, so, I mean, I was kind of starting from scratch and now, you know, you fast forward three years later and, um, you know, it's been a huge progression. Uh, but something that you know I credit to a lot of people, and you know outside of just you know playmaking and you know big catches and touchdowns and you know everything that everybody notices, uh, you know I work extremely hard in, in blocking and um, have come a long way in my opinion in being a more physical player and in embracing the role of being a blocker. Um, and I think it's something that I'm going to continue to improve on until the day I'm done playing football. And you know I'm excited for you know another. Uh, training camp to have these, you know, 29 practices for the first game to continue to, you know, stay up to practice and hit the block and sled until, I mean, one of these days I'm hoping that thing breaks. And, 
you know, just continue to improve, continue to be more aggressive and physical. And uh, like Coach Franklin said, you know, my ultimate goal is to be a true, complete tight end. We don't have any game circle besides week one. So I think that taking a mindset like that and being focused on the task at hand, we understand the big picture, but we also understand that there's a pro that there's a process to ultimately reach our team goals and expectations, and that's the uh, you know the steps that we're going to take. In our tight end room, um, we have a, we have a ton of talent. Uh, we have we have some guys that you know don't get talked about enough, honestly. And you know we have guys like you know Nick Bowers who's coming back from injury, uh, who's moving extremely well at 265 pounds. We have you know John Holland who you guys all saw in the spring game play at a very high level. Uh, Tom Pankos is a guy that backed me up last year, and you know he understands his role. He knows his assignment on every single play. And uh, you know then we got you know a young guy like Danny Dalton who's you know coming off his redshirt year and just looking to do whatever it takes to uh, find a role on the team. So I mean in tight end, uh, you know, in terms of our depth and, you know, the talent that we have, I'm excited for it.